Well, hello there. I am in Regina, and I am with a highly sought-after keynote speaker, as well as a lecturer, an author, and just an all-around amazing guy. Wow. This, thanks. <laughs> this is Al Keller, and he's in Regina, and he's actually uh, has a uh, course right now called Goodbye Stress. Uh, this is pretty amazing stuff. How did you get here to be teaching Goodbye Stress? Well, I think, I mean, obviously, stress is something that we can all relate to. And uh, I know that you have two children, Lisa, so you can, uh, you can appreciate this idea where I was actually leaving out of Toronto not too long ago, and I'm sitting by a father, and of course, he starts talking about his son, and he makes that infamous statement, if my son's happy, I'm happy. Oh. And I said, well, okay, but what happens if your son's not happy? Oh. And right, the response is usually the same, and wow. But my point is, I mean, we're often very quick to lose ourselves in the journeys of others. And I think that it's, yeah. it's about empowering people to get back to the journey that we were meant to lead in the first place because we can become enmeshed in our relationships or, or also even the workplace. And so one of the key things uh, about the workshop or about the book in general is just to step back from life, focus on self, and if you want something different, obviously you have to do something different. Because we have to, I mean, you're teaching us to empower to live our best lives. Right. Yeah, well, and right. live, not exist. And I think a lot of people merely exist through life. They don't take risks, therefore they don't grow. That's a good point. Now, I think you're going to put me through a stress yes. test or something. Yes. You're going to, okay. Okay, well. we're going to put Lisa on the spot here. So I got five <laughs> questions. Don't get too stressed out. They're true and false. Here's the first question. Ready? Okay. And, and be honest. Uh, the first question. So <laughs> you've actually prayed for someone to be sick or absent from either your workplace or a family function. True or false? False. <laughs> well done. I don't think I've prayed for anyone. Okay, well that's like, good. To not, I mean, I've prayed for people, yeah, yeah, but I, I haven't prayed you. for someone good. not to be somewhere. Okay. Like a jealousy type thing. That's great, because I would say 90% when I poll the audience, you know, most people identify with that. And, and so the challenge for me is always, we typically can identify with someone who is angry or someone that we try to keep our distance from and it's just that idea of anger plus anger will always give you anger. If you can step back and try to figure out what's driving that behavior, you're going to be in a better position. I have better things to do. Obviously. <laughs> okay, next Good question. for you. Okay, <laughs> second question. Stress from your personal life will disappear the moment that you walk into your place of work. True. Totally false. <laughs> yes, it's false. Yes, I mean, so if your kids are still sick, you're still sick. But have you ever felt like you actually had to wear a mask when you walk into the place of work, kind of conceal some of that pain? Yeah, and that's yeah. the challenge. It's, it's sometimes we do have to wear a mask, but the idea behind it is to step back and try to bring light on what's actually going inside, acting on the resources, talking about pain, so on and so forth. All right. Okay, two for two. All right, next third, question. Third question. All that we can control in life is self. True or false? All that we can control in life is self? Yes, true or false. Oh, tr I don't know. <laughs> have stressing you ever tried out? to control someone else? I guess I can only troll myself. That's that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can't control anybody else. Okay, so that's, that's the premise of the book as well. Now, number four, you have actually felt guilty when you have put your own needs before the needs of someone else. Always, true. And, and is that a problem? I think, I think I it think is. I think it might yeah. be, but there's good recognition in that, right? Because going back to what we said before, uh, we gotta take care of number one. Yeah. Last and final question for you. Time heals all wounds, true or false? True. False. <laughs> Good guess. 50-50. Doesn't it? No, time provides us with the opportunity to heal. But if we do nothing with the time that we've been given, healing cannot take place. Does that make me a bad person for no, answering that? No, there's no such thing as a bad person, no. It's just you have to actually do something with the time, right? Okay. Good. Okay. So, All right. So I did okay. So now we're going to do another stress test. Yeah. I, I think I'm half and I'm 50-50. So there's a few, few reasons that I use this one. One is because it's nice sometimes just to pay attention to our body signals, to figure out when we're actually under stress. Okay. Now, I know this game. I, I kind of know about it. Okay. So all that's going to happen is I'm going to put this wheel. I'll play with you. So okay, you I'll push this down. You don't know when that's going to pop up. How about you spin that number? I'm going to put a little bit of whipped cream on here for you. Just oh, maybe a little more. Okay. <laughs> Now, just oh, in case, because yes. you, you did dress very nice today. All I don't right. want to okay. wreck that dress. Okay, so you spun... You want me to well, if, if you want. I don't suspect this is going to get too oh, out of control, but... I'm arms sweating already. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> See, pay attention to the way that you're responding. Okay, so you identified a four. So please push forward four clicks. Push. And you got to put your face right in here. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, well done. Four, Four clicks. What are my odds? <laughs> well, we'll find out. <laughs> One, two, three, four. You did it. Amazing. Okay, but how did that feel even when you were clicking that? Uh, I, I could feel my heart racing. Right. I'm thinking I'm going to get hit. Okay. I, I'm feeling myself sweating. Uh, <laughs> Should I go or do you want to keep going to experience? Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to go. Okay. Okay. So are you actually going to do this with people in your class? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we go through not only the <coughs> body signals, but like I said oh. before, just, <laughs> just, um... See, I'm stressed out, I'm holding the mic yes. in front of me and, and see, that, that's point, that's, that's part of it. We don't think clearly when we're under stress. All so, right. anyway, well, thanks for being a, a good sport and we didn't get whipped cream anywhere. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Al, for yeah. being here. I had a great time learning a lot about stress in our lives. And I think Al can really teach us to, um, empower and, and be ourselves. So... Join us. You can look up Al online. Information will come up at the end. But thanks for joining us. Thanks, Al. Thank you, Lisa. And I got to go dry off. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs>